Well, good morning. It's 9 a.m. here in Singapore, 1 in the morning in London, and 8 in the evening in Washington, where President-elect Donald Trump visited the White House to meet President Obama, their first encounter since the election. Mr. Trump does not take office until the end of January, and the two men focused on the transition of power. Our North America editor, John Sopel, reports on the day's events. Well, there's a lot of speculation over what Donald Trump will do once he's inaugurated as the 45th president of the United States in two months. Now, he made a lot of promises during his campaign, building the wall on the U.S. border with Mexico, the temporary ban on Muslims coming into the U.S., or a pledge to create millions of jobs. Well, our chief uh, correspondent, Gavin Hewitt, takes a closer look at Mr. Trump's agenda. Now, a Trump presidency will have implications for the rest of the world, particularly his views on world trade. Now, Donald Trump has made no secret of his America first stance on trade, and the markets have been... And that was Samira Hussein speaking to me earlier in New York. In other business news now, Brazilian oil firm Petrobras unexpectedly swung to a massive loss in the third quarter. It lost uh, at record highs, the Dow Jones closing uh, at such highs that Samira was telling you about. And of course, we're seeing gains here for the Nikkei as well. It's up over 1%, really at nine-month highs just a little earlier. Gains also for the All Ordinaries, though Hong Kong has opened slightly lower. And that's it for this uh, edition of Asia Business Report. Thanks for watching.